Welcome back. I'm Linda Reinstein and I'm excited to see you. Normally we would be meeting in a beautiful ballroom. Maybe we'd be sipping a glass of wine and we'd be talking about the great proceedings and the presentations and all of the great conference stuff, the takeaways that we go back to our cities, states and nations with. But because of COVID, we're here virtually. It doesn't mean you can't lock arms and together embrace the fact that 14 awards will be given out tonight. And most importantly, Jordan Zivon is going to be playing with five other musicians to open the show. So it's a great way to rally around and take, take a bow. Because if you're watching this, you probably were nominated and accepted an award. And if you're watching this, that means you're extra dedicated after a long academic conference. So I'm gonna do just a quick open so that if somebody's joining and they haven't heard about us or know what's going on, they're gonna sit through the awards and go, wow, I wanna join that fight too. So if you're new to what we've been doing for the last two days with three events, we are the Asbestos Disease Awareness Organization. We've been around for 17 years doing what we think is important. We want to prevent exposure to eliminate all asbestos-caused diseases. We got a spectacular surprise today when Rebecca Rendell from AFL-CIO during her keynote showed us the new link that the AFL-CIO have established to show congressional support for the Allen Reinstein Ban Asbestos Now Act. That's a pretty big deal. We hope that sometime during the night when you're waiting for your award to come up or who you love, that you'll click over to actionnetwork.org slash letters, plural, slash RBAN, and send your member of Congress a, a message to move the bill forward. Uh, also, if you're just joining us, we have a beautiful program online and you can take a look. It's also on our website and we have put together tributes of asbestos, asbestos and mesothelioma warriors conference. Thank yous. But to every honoree tonight, I hope you do me a favor. I hope you click open the program because inside you're going to see a tribute that was written with love and respect from ADAO commenting about your great work. Uh, to once I finish with this, you get to hear from Jordan Zivon, which is a hey great. He is going to sing three of my favorite songs um, and entertain you and show you that art and advocacy is a powerful medium. Uh, tonight, we're going to recognize, I don't want you to step away and miss someone's uh, presentation or acceptance speech. We're going to recognize co former Congressman John Shimkus. Congressman Paul Tonko with the Tribute of Hope Award, the American Federation of Teachers who you heard today, you heard obviously Kelly spoke from the union's position, but you also heard Wendy talk about as an investigative journalist, the teachers union is so important. They get the Tribute of Unity Award that they so deeply deserve. Dr. Lemon is going to recognize all of the 20 2020 and 2021 our band supporters uh, with the Tribute of Inspiration Award. You're going to see all the names flowing there. Dr. Jackie Moline is truly incredible. She's getting the Dr. Selikoff Award. She's getting it for a reason. She embodies what Dr. Irving Selikoff stood for with her occupational medicine and what she does to help ADL and her patients. Judd Apatow is one great filmmaker and comedian. I'm sure he's not laughing too hard to know that asbestos hasn't been banned. Uh, Jordan was able to make an introduction, and because of Judd's um, relationship with Warren, he uh, dedicated Record Store Day to ADAO. He's receiving the Keep Me in Your Heart Award, so I look forward to uh, having that award presented by Jordan to Judd. And then Emily and I had the sheer honor to present Barry Robson and Robert Sussman with Allen's Award. It used to go to mesothelioma warriors, somebody who possibly a, a patient or a family member. But what it actually does now after 17 years, there are so many deserving people that if Allen was in the room, he would walk over and say, thank you for being a warrior with me. So it doesn't just go to a patient or family member. That being said, we want to recognize our three keynote speakers who did an awesome job on Friday and Saturday. You're going to hear Wendy Rutterman, Rebecca Rendell, and Julie Gunlock all receive awards from three amazing uh, presenters. And then last but not least, 
if you want to know how we get our work done, we have three law firms that believe in ADO's work, and I'm honored, privileged, and grateful that they stepped up to the plate, especially during COVID. The Simmons Hanley Conroy Law Firm has been with us for over 10 years. In the very beginning, ADO didn't accept any law firm donations. Doug and I wanted to make sure that ADO was a very independent organization, so we said no. Everybody knows who we are now. Nobody, everyone knows we can never be bought and everyone knows we don't make referrals. So we're able to take law firm donations to support our briefings and our work. And we're grateful. Uh, Sarah Salger is going to be coming in with the Gory Law Firm as a gold sponsor. And Chris Meisenkoten is going to be recognized for the silver sponsor award that goes to early Lucarelli, Sweeney and Meisenkoten. So I just want to thank them when you see their logos around recognize that they are leaders in raising awareness, promoting prevention, and hopefully leading us down a path where we can finally have the policy to ban asbestos. And many people that you saw Friday and Saturday are ADO board and leadership. And I am grateful to work with the most amazing people in the nation. Um, everyone steps up. They know they get emails and texts from me. And sometimes they get about a two-minute warning that we need to have something done or I need their help. No one ever says, no, I'm too busy. So recognize, please, in your program, the board of directors, Kim, Ellen, and Linda Reeves, and of course, Jordan and Barbara McQueen, and then Dr. Celeste Monforton, who just does a great job being a liaison. My dear friend, Ellen, who works so hard as conference co-chair, I want you to think about the Science Advisory Board. You, you heard many of them today. Uh, actually, I think over the week, you've heard from all of them except for one. Um, it's led by Dr. Arthur Frank and Dr. Richard Lemon with Dr. Brad Black, Barry, Dr. Castleman, Dr. Flores, Dr. Harbutt, Dr. Markowitz, and Dr. Oliver. They are experts leading the charge. They're phenomenal. And lastly, last but not least, uh, Brent Kynock really heads up our prevention board. And you heard Mark, Caitlin, Tom Lomenthal, Tony Rich today. And we also have Claire Deacon from, this, from South Africa and John Newquist and Mark Winter from the UK. These people recognize that prevention is part of the cure and they devote their time to ADAO. That being said, that concludes the PowerPoint. So you know who we are, what we do, why we do it, and hopefully you'll continue to join our fight. So sit back, cheers to all of those honorees. They have earned the recognition that they will get tonight. I'm signing off for the moment. Enjoy the awards program. Thank you.